First tonight at 11, a local teenager is in a medically induced coma after falling off a golf cart and hitting his head. It's a tragic accident. Deputies say that six teenagers were in that golf cart shooting off fireworks when one of them fell. First Coast News' Cameron Leffinger is live tonight at Wilson's Hospital where that 14-year-old boy is being treated. Cam? Heather and Anthony were told that these fireworks were bottle ro large bottle rocket fireworks. And as for the teen that was injured, we're told that he suffered serious injuries to his head and he had to be airlifted here to Wolfson's Children's Hospital in critical condition. A local teen recovering in the hospital after a reckless ride in St. John's County. The scene unfolding in the Durban Crossing subdivision near Patriot Oaks Academy. Just it's a very hard thing to hear. You know, you want your children to be safe. You, you, they think they know what they're doing. The sheriff's office says six teens were riding in a golf cart and playing with fireworks. The fireworks went off and a 14 year old boy fell out and suffered serious injuries. Residents in the area say the teen also suffered a seizure. Witnesses tell us the teen's name is Luke Tabor. Yeah, he will be okay. Jacob Akel was also riding on the golf cart. He says the victim's mother wanted to share this message to the community. The parent wanted me to just say one thing. Just pray for her son, Luke. The accident comes just months after the county tightened its restrictions on its golf cart ordinance. Residents say teens and golf carts continues to be a safety concern. It's just tragic. Um, we, we unfortunately have seen um, quite a few teenagers in the neighborhood. Uh, we haven't seen an accident yet, but um, it was I think it was kind of something that was a, a, an eventuality. They also hope that this accident will bring awareness to everyone who gets behind the wheel. Not only the, the kids who drive the golf carts, it's also the um, the adults, you know, and just pay a little more attention and just I hope to God that, you know, he is okay. Now, as far as an update on the teen's condition, we're told that he is expected to survive. However, right now he's still in a medically induced coma. Of course, we will keep you posted both on the air and online at firstcoastnews.com. For now, reporting live in Jacksonville, Cameron Leppinger, First Coast News on your side.